Hello. Some of you might remember the story of the little lost lamb that we had a few weeks ago. Well, today I'm going to tell you a story about something else that was lost. And this is a story that happened to me in real life. It's very similar to a story that Jesus told in the Bible um, that you may have heard before. Anyway, here's my real life story. This story is not about sheep. It's about jewellery. I've got lots of nice jewellery, which I keep at home in my jewellery box. Some of it I wear often and I keep it in this big box. But there's some jewellery I don't wear very often. But it is very special to me and I keep it in this small box. These things are special because they were given to me by a special person. Some of them were from my parents or from my grandparents when I was a child. And they remind me of them. Anyway, this story is about this ring. It's one of my special rings for two reasons. Firstly, it was my wedding ring, which I've worn since I got married. And secondly, it originally belonged to my great grandma and my nan gave it to me. I've worn it for many years until one evening I noticed that it had disappeared and was not on my finger anymore. Oh no. I think it was a cold day when I lost the ring. My hands had got cold and the ring was loose and it must have fallen off. Oh no, I was so upset. I couldn't think of anything else but finding that special ring. I still had all these other rings and lovely things in my jewellery box, but all I could think about was the lost ring. I searched in all the places I knew I had been that day. By the sink when I was washing up. Outside by the bins when I put the bin bags out. I searched in the car. I knew I'd taken my boys to youth group. I'd searched by the church car park. I carried on searching everywhere. I searched high and low, but I could not find it. I phoned up people from church in case anyone had found it in the car park. And I told everybody at work to look out for it too. But it never turned up. Anyway, my husband Steve eventually bought me a new wedding ring to wear. I did pray and ask God to help me find my lost ring, but I didn't find it. However, I did believe that God knew exactly where it was, so I just waited. Anyway, about three whole years went by and then at the start of this year, we decided to redecorate the upstairs of our house and we had to empty everything out of our bedroom. When I came to empty this storage basket, you can see this is the place where I keep those plastic charity bags ready to take things to a charity shop. Anyway, I took some of the bags out and I saw something metal underneath. I could hardly believe it. It was my missing ring. All the time my ring was in that basket in my bedroom. I was so excited. I took a photo of it and I put it on WhatsApp to tell all my family and my friends. And I rang people up and told them about it. My ring was lost and now it was found. Hooray! Now I wear it on this finger because it is a tighter fit and it won't fall off again. That story reminds me of two things. The first is that Jesus came to search for and find those who have lost their way in life or maybe have gone a bit wrong, just like the lost sheep and the lost ring. We can pray that God will show us people who seem lost and that he will help us to be ready to help them and welcome them in the same way that Jesus does. 
The story also makes me think simply about how God always knows our whereabouts. That ring was lost in the bottom of the basket under those bags for years. Nobody knew where it was. It was almost invisible. But God knew exactly where it was. He, I believe he always knows our whereabouts. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. I've sent home an email to parents with some activities that you can do at home and connected with our story today. See you next time. Bye.